Hi and welcome back to my channel and thank you for coming back and as always I do appreciate every single one of you and to all my new subscribers over the last few days thank you so this one is a forever floral rose deluxe craft pad so and this one is matastic and the one I'm going with is this lots of love one so I've already picked this one out so I'm going to be using this and this is the cardstock that goes with this one so it's pretty pretty and then I didn't pull out the insert papers I don't think so I need to find the insert papers for these which I'm not I know which one of them is and the other one would be this one so the inserts always match the um, paper, the paper, always match the cardstock. So I did see the one that I wanted, which is this one. And then I think the one, the other one I wanted was that rose one that I went past. The thing with these craft pads is once you start pulling pages out of them, they tend to start falling apart. Oh, I've got two of them ones for some reason. So that's that one. So there should only be one, but I've ended up with two. I think that's the right one. Let's have a look. Just to double check. No, oh, yeah. I know why there's two. I know it's different. Okay, maybe there ain't two. Maybe they just look like they were the same. So I'm just going to put that over there for the moment and put that over there for the moment. I'm going to bring these back in, my card stock and this one and you do get like on the front of each pad, craft pad, you do get like an inspiration kind of style um, card that you can make with these so without further ado this one is a 8 by 6 and move that card out of my way for the moment and the one I'm going to come in with is probably going to be I might need to go a bit smaller actually so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this oh, that one's already fallen out but that's not the one I want at the moment this is the one I want if I can pull it out yeah. so this is the one I want and this is a little bit big, so I'm going to have to trim it down just a tad. And I think it's going to have to be a little bit smaller than the 6x8. So it's going to be more or less like a DL style car, so I'm going to cut this down. Because this actually sits the way I'm going to do it, oops, and so it sticks above a little bit or maybe not, I might do it so I'm just going to cut an inch off the bottom of this one so it's going to end up being a 5 by 6 I think, just so it's a little bit smaller like so, and then for the front of the card I need a piece of gold mirror, so I now need that to be two notches under the eight and two notches under the five. I'm just going to bring my board in. So two notches under the eight. I'm going to cut it this way. So I cut the thin strip off of that side. And then this way, so it needs to be two notches under the five, and then that would be to glue onto there. And then I need a piece of the card stock, which is this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful card, which is 
going to be, let me see now. So I'm just looking at a design on the front of this pad to see how they've done this. The, their card that they've done is slightly different to what I've done because they've used a different pattern or different, where is it? Okay, so I don't think this is the right one. Let me just have another quick look. So I think I've pulled out the wrong cardstock. I think they, they've used no, so what one have they used? Oops. It looks like they've used that one. So you can use, you don't have to use the same ones as what they show. Just going to have a look, a look again. No, see, because that one goes with that one. And this one does go with that one. So I'm going to stick with the the card stock that they show you to use. So I'm going to cut this one down to the eight because it's just going to be easier. Just to cut a little strip off of there. Oh no, it wasn't meant to be eight, was it? it was meant to be five. So it's be four notches under the five because I need it that length. That's all right, it doesn't matter. I cut that little bit off too early and this way needs to be the 8 so it needs to be 4 notches under the 8 just like that and then this is going to sit on top of there I don't need that out at the moment so I'm just going to glue these two together so I'm just going to come back in with my all purpose glue the thing with this is it just sucks back up again it's, it's not coming out of this bottle it's really making my hands hurt today this glue I don't know Alright, so we we'll use this one. This one's been laying down. Okay. And then tacky glue in the four corners. Da 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 da. da like so. Oops, that's falling over now. Bring in my gold mirror. Which... Oops. And then put this onto there. Like so, bring my blank card in, and then place that on the top, like so. Bring my all purpose in, tacky glue and all purpose, turn that over, and then stick that onto there like so there we go and then I'm coming in with this one but I don't want the middle gold frame so I want that one which is going to go over the top like so but what I am going to try to attempt to do is I've got my scallop edges but I don't know if these ones line up to these um, apertures I've got here or not so I'm just going to bring in a die when I find the right one because I need it to be God, they're stuck so well 
I need to see which one it is that it tallies up. So it's more that one. And then I'm going to cut that out there. So I need that to be so that this one tallies up. So this one needs to be so that I can put this through the die cutter and it's going to tally up with the outside. I think that one's a bit too small actually. So it might be this one. Just going to place that on top of there. Yeah, so I think it's that one. But I need to get it in the right place on the card, otherwise it's not going to cut it out where I want it. It's going to be too big or too small or not in the right place. Because that is going to cut that out so that, that sits on the top of the but at the cut out point like so and then this is going to sit underneath but on the inside of the card so without moving it I was going to say but it keeps sticking to my um, card front just going to move it over a little tad that should do it there uh, and put some tacky tape onto there without moving it and hopefully this will go through my machine and cut that out hopefully. I'm just going to thread that through my machine just move that out of the way jump up so I can grab it when it comes out the other side. It is a bit noisy. I don't know whether that's cut or not. I'm going to have to check it first. Most of the time it does just on the one pass through but it's cutting through three layers of card stock. So I don't know whether it's going to cut through and I don't know whether if I put any more pressure, put another mat on there. The thing is, I put all these mats on and I get electric shocks. Sometimes it doesn't like having more than I think it's stuck. It's reversing it now. I don't know whether that's cut it or not, or whether it's too thick. For it to go through. And it's a bit too thick for it to go through. I'm going to turn it up that way now. I'm going to leave my other mat out. Hopefully I don't get a shock from taking this off of here because static and me don't go together. Oh yeah! See what I mean? Static. It's terrible. Hate static. So grab that again. The only thing with me in my craft room is I have to not everything is close, well, it's close, but not close enough. <laughs> Don't think this is going to cut out. Can't get enough pressure on it, which is a bit of a annoyance. I'm going to try it one more time. I've seen them do this plenty of times on their channel put in more than one bit to cut through so I'm hoping that it'll go this time I'm 
getting static on that now. It's not cutting it out perfectly. Right. I'll turn my plates over and try. Doing it a different way. Because sometimes when you turn the plates over, it'll cut through. I don't want to keep running it through the machine because I don't think it's going to cut it out. No. It's not going to cut it out. And, um, I've pulled off the pattern of the paper. Mm, it's annoyed me now because I've ruined my card. And it still hasn't cut the aperture out. So what I'm going to do is I've got the pattern, I've got the um, design there. I'm going to have to be doing it with my craft knife. I don't like using my craft knife because I'm not very good. Of the bit of card that's just got ruins on there, I'm gonna to have to put a sentiment there because it's not gonna. Look good now, it's ripped that bit off. I'm gonna to have to put something on there to hide it. I think. And still, my knife still hasn't even cut through this. Hopefully, my shoddy work will be covered over with my frame. If you're a bit more um, what's the word I'm looking for, a bit more accurate with your lining up, you might be able to line a lot of this up with the die cut and then just cut bit out at a time or we'll just put one on and then put the other one underneath it it's not perfect but my card base is going to hide the shabby job okay so I'm not 100% happy with how that works but so this is going to cover that hopefully that's going to go onto there like so that's going to cover that and then I'm going to cut a bit of gold miri and put my craft knife away so yeah it's not a hundred percent but how I wanted it to be so I'm just going to cut a bit of Miri to 
the six mark. No, I'm going to do this one four notches under, three notches under the six just because I don't want it to be so that I can't close the card and then I think that's the way it's supposed to be. I've probably done it wrong now again. I don't think it was six was it? That's why. It's five. So three notches under the five. But it's no hardship. We can just rectify it that cut in. So that is going to go underneath there. And then I've lost my topper thing that I was going to use on this one. I'm going to move my die out of the way. Let's see if I can find my um, the topper for this one. I've lost it. Where did you go? Where did I put you? That's the other one. Where's that one gone? Hello, where did you go? I've lost you. I don't know where you are. Sometimes they get stuck to my my um, things for my die cutter. Found it. So, rightio then, peeps. This one's going to go in there. Okay, with the gold mirror. Right, so let's come along and put this on. So I'm going to put this down <laughs> flat, she says. Right, so I'm going to come in with, I don't very often use this, but I'm going to get my other board, my glue board out as I call it for prick sticks and that. And I'm going to put some of this lovely hunky dory purple glue stick hopefully it doesn't make a mess on my card and then this doesn't have to be this is not um, doesn't say it has to be a certain way up let's see if it's stick for this if not I'll come back in with my have a glue. It should be okay. Yeah, you can see that through there, but that's not going to matter. Or, 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 um, I don't want you anymore. Or, I could do something totally out of the ordinary which is what I'm going to do I think so this is going to come under there and I might even put that on there and then I'll put the insert in that sits in there so you don't actually see the mess that's behind there yeah so that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to come in with my all-purpose I know you don't normally do this this way around oh no actually I'm not going to do that I'm going to come in with my um, tacky glitter, uh, tacky, my high tack tape. And cut and do stick this one on because it's going to be safer to do that with this, I think. And across there, like so. So that'd be that bit. But first, I've just had an idea. Oh, excuse me, I've got an itch. Um, yeah, I've just had an idea for this one. And it's in this bag. I'm just going to look for a bit of acetate or 
a bit of um, what's it called parchment or vellum. Actually, I'm going to come in with a bit of hunky dory parchment. I think, and I'm going to try and find a rose pink or a there in that design. Let me have a look. Turn it back over. Or green. Let me just move this down out of the way. Don't fall over. And have a look to see what I've got in the way of parchment. I've not used parchment before so green might be too too dark. Let me have a look I'm going to place it underneath for a minute. I'm not going to stick it down or anything. And then the pink ones I've got on the top here. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for the pink one. Because I think the pink one does look better on there. So I'm just going to put these other ones away. In here. I'm just going to put that back on the floor where well, I can reach it. I'm just going to have a sip of my coffee because I made this ages ago. It's probably going to be cold. So I'm just going to need to piece, or cut a piece of this out with my scissors. So I don't need it that big just to go behind there. Should be big enough for that. Just to hide that, which it is. So I'm just going to try and keep that straight as possible. And then get my pokey tool so I can pull this off with any luck. To me, this is like crafting on the go or on the fly, as they say. So I'm just going to place and hold this over the top here. There we go. Press that down, and that's going to hold that in place. So it looks like rose gold parchment behind there. This glue is not sticking whatsoever for some reason. So I'm going to do away with that and I'm going to come in with my tacky glue if I can get this out of the bottle. Hopefully that's going to stick. Just getting underneath it because Not the glue's not going in the right place on there, so hopefully now that will stick down. There we go. Press it down with my thumbs, and then a bit of this, and then you don't see the workings when you pick this card up and look underneath. Oops. I'm just going to put a couple of the bits on, pull the backings off again. Put 
some more purpose. I mean tacky rather. And then that is going to go just in there, like so. And then we look for the sentiment. And lots of love, many thanks, just for you. I think I'm going to come in with many thanks. And a lots of love one. Because so obviously I need something to cover that over there. So I think that one will... I think this one might be too big and not cover it right, yeah. So I'm going to come in with this one. <clears throat> and place that in there and then any thanks. Just going to get a square foam pad, which is here. Place on there. Bring this down. Place that there. Place that there. And then I've got a little bows. I'm going to come in with a green bow, I think, for this one. Um, I think the pale green would be perfect for this. And then a glue dot. find some gems that I want to use which mm -hmm. I'm just going to use these clear ones I think for this one even though it's gold these are just clear and I think they look stunning on this one. Something a little different. Just place them free on the corners, all different sizes. And there we have that one. Even though it took me a little while to um, get that aperture cut out, it worked in the end. So there's card number one with a bit of parchment as a background and then the card on there and then the insert go inside did have borders as well but I've not used it I don't very often use borders I forget about them sometimes so then this is for the second card that's left over at the moment and this is what I've got left to make my second card with so I'm just going to have a bit of a tidy up and then decide what I'm going to do with this second card okay so this one I'm going to be doing an easel card which I've already cut to a six excuse me six by six and then folded at the three mark three inch mark so that's to make the card base I need my trimmer so my gold card Miri is going to be 
So I need a bit for the inside and a bit for the outside. So this is going to be six by, I know, sorry, two notches under the six both ways. Two notches under the six. That's going to be going into that bit there. And then this one is going to be four notches under the six that way and four notches under the six that way. So that's for that. And then I need a bit of gold mirror again, which is going to be four notches under the no, that way. Four notches under the six. That's just a sliver off of there. And then this way it needs to be four two notches under the six under the three, sorry. Which is gonna be for that bit that goes across there, hopefully. I think I've cut that too short. Yep. Oh dear. Not having a good day today. So that bit ain't big enough. Let me get a little bit. Okay, so I know this is six notches. So I need three, two notches under the six, I mean two notches under the three. Yes. And then two notches under the six, which is what I did before. Okay, there we go, got it now. I don't know what happened there. And then this bit of card here needs to be, that's the top. I'm hot now. So this one needs to be Four notches under the six that way, and then four notches under the three this way, and hopefully that should be yeah, the right size. So I still have a little bit of card left on that one. Just going to put that away. Bring this in, and my gold mirror in, and I'm going to glue this down if these glues actually work today. Again, they're not playing the game, so I'm going to bring in another one and see if I can get this one to work. There we go. So let's go in with that. And then tacky glue in the four corners. And then bring that in. Oops. And actually it doesn't really matter which way you glue this down because as long as you put it I put it in the way I want it when I put it together. I just try and bring my chair in a bit closer. I can't get that close with this chair really. It's not a lot of room. <laughs> so now I'm going to come in with my all purpose glue again, just down the centre here. Then my tacky glue in these four corners. And then this one's going to be this way around. So I need to put this on this way, like so. And then I'm going to put this card together. So I'm going to put this all down the middle again. And then put the 
tacky glue on. And then place this on the inside like so and then this one oh, picked up the wrong glue so it's not working and then all purpose glue down the middle again and then the tacky glue in the four corners I'm just going to open that up I'm going to put this one this way up and then put that to the side for the minute bring in my topper sheet and my borders so I think with this one I'm going to cut these borders out and then I'll see which one I'm going to work with We'll put that over there for the minute. Let's see what border I want to go with. Whether I want to go with the flower one or whether I want to go with the one that goes with the frame. I think I might go with the one that goes with the frame actually. Because that's going to be. Um, I might come in with this one as well. Right, so with this one, what is this? Is, uh, this one I'm gonna obviously this frame, this one's only got two frames anyway so and obviously I'm only going halfway up with this so I just keep them intact there and this one is going to be my stopper so I'm keeping both of them intact as well Foam pad on that one, and then the border stay. The border strip might come in there, or I might do it so it comes down the center. Down that way. And that's just going to be glued in with some tacky glue. I'm going to do this bit as well. I wasn't going to here, but I'm going to carry it through. Oops, I think I cut that a little bit short. I'm going to glue this one on. Way. 
and that goes there. And then peel these back ends off. Got some all purpose glue, I mean tacky glue, sorry, on the backs of these foam pads. I think I've made this a bit wonky, but there we go. Right, so this one is going to come on at the base on the inside as my stopper. So that my card stays open, or stays in position, I should say, not so it stays open. And I think I'm going to put that round about there. Chip, that fits there just perfectly. And I still have these little. Um, just for you and the little rose and the little butterfly so I might use the little rose and the little butterfly and then I have left that just for you which I'm not going to use that on anything and then I've got this border frame as well which that won't get used on this one so I'm just going to place that in my border pot with all my other borders that I have but these two I will use so I need my little square foam pads. So I'm just going to come in with one there, one on there, and one on there, and one on there, and then one is going to go, I think, on the bottom layer and one is going to go on the top I think so I think the rose one is going to come onto the bottom so I'm going to put this one just in this corner here like so and then this one I am going to place on the top part of this card I think which is going to be round about there and like so not very straight never mind a bit wonky but it doesn't matter and still, oh yeah I've still got this butterfly and frame as well little frame but I'm not going to use it on this one because there's, the colours are not right for that card and now I need some gems which I'm going to use, what am I going to use on this one? Hmm, I'm trying to think if I want to use gold. What did I use on the other one? Oh yeah, so I'm going to stick with the same ones I used on the previous card, which are the silver ones, or the, these, these ones, I can't remember what they're called. These are what I had left over from something else that I was doing. I think these I actually got with some of the, I don't know what they called it, they had it on the show a little while ago. I can't think for the life of me what it's called now. And that one's going to have one there. Let me open that up again. I'm going to put one in that corner. And then I need two to go on my little tag things. One there. Like so. Oh, I had this little um, book thing that had pictures inside and had dots on them. 
that you could put gems onto them. And I had I had some of them ages ago that I um used. Let me just put that to the side for a minute. I'm just going to bring this other card back in. Oh, just because I've got this butterfly, I don't know whether let's move you to there. I don't know whether just to place that like across there. That's what I think that's what I'm gonna do is that one. I'm gonna place that across. I'm just gonna cut off a bit of foam pad. Stick this one down. Just because I want to use it. I don't want to leave it because it's not going to get used on anything. Got a bit of hair stuck underneath that now. Just snip that off there. I can't remember what, what the pad was called that they did with the little dot things and pictures that you've got gems with it to put on it and makes a picture and then you stick the pictures on the on the card fronts. So I'm just going to stick this one somewhere around there. Yeah, I thought I stuck the butterfly in upside down. So that is that one. All I've got left is this one just for you. So I always end up getting at least one um, sentiment out of the card um, topper that I never use but there are there and that is how it's a shame I didn't put any glue uh, underneath that one but that is card number one and card number two if anybody of you know what I'm on about please do leave a message in the comment in my comments because I've got brain fog at the moment and I can't think for the life of me what they are actually called because my brain has gone today um, <laughs> so anyway that is that for these two cards using the Forever Floral Rose craft pad um, as I say, I never know, I always say I'm going to come back with a certain um, pad or a certain topper kit or something and I always end up changing my mind and come back with something else. So I'm not going to be saying oh, I'm going to come back with bloody 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 blah, blah and then I end up changing my mind at the last minute before I start filming and go, oh no, I don't really fancy doing that one now and I want to do something different or I'm doing something for somebody else. So my card making videos just, I don't really plan what I'm going to do. I sort of get an idea with what kit I want to go with and then try and put together the cards that I want to make with that kit or have an idea of what kind of cards I want to make and style. Most of my cards are pretty straightforward and pretty simple. Although I am trying new techniques, um, just takes time to adjust to making different cards. And if you've seen one of my Hello Spring cards that I made um, on the video, the one with the um, deck chair and the shed in the background, if you watched that one, or if you haven't watched that one, um, I do have a little look at it because it is a different style of card which I've never made before and it turned out pretty good and the other one was another Hello Spring one with the little birds on the um, garland or the wreath so that's another one that I made and the other one was same thing Hello Spring that was with the cow on it which I still have got which I haven't got given away to anybody or sent out to anybody so there's a few of the ones that I've made and my first attempts at making them I've decided to keep them and then I'll make other ones of the same style eventually 
when I get around to making that style again. So that is it for this video. So if you've not watched off some of my videos from the beginning, because my channel um, logo and my channel banner has changed from when I first started out and my beginning of my videos, the start of my videos is different to when I first started out as well, so I had a revamp of my channel. Um, I might be doing another, not a giveaway this time unfortunately, but as I've reached over 100 subscribers I'm going to be doing a um, competition for you to be able to um, obviously there's going to be a question so it's going to be on the community page so for you to stand a chance of actually participating and taking part of that you will have to check my community page out on my YouTube channel it won't be yet as I need to um, decide on the question first before I decide what I'm going to be giving or putting into the competition. It might be a card that you could win or it might be a die set or it could be a little book. Um, so yeah, it won't be yet as I say, a couple of weeks time I'll be announcing it on my YouTube channel with a short video and what I'm going to be giving or what I'm going to be putting into the competition um, and then the uh, the question uh, will be uh, will be asked in the community and you will have to write down your answer it's not going to be an easy question so to make it fairer it's going to be something that I probably wouldn't even know without googling it anyway I'll get my husband to give me the question with four possible answers or three possible answers like they do on the Hunky Dory channel for your chance to win some of these goodies that I'm going to be putting into it so yeah so that is because I've reached over a hundred um, subscribers so I'll have more on more details on that um, maybe next week Monday when I do my videos next week because obviously Sunday is Easter Sunday and I am at my parents for Easter Sunday and then Monday is probably when I'll be doing some of my shoot video sh shots shooting and then hopefully get a question sorted for Easter Monday put out as well later on the day and then I let it run for I don't know a couple of weeks just to give enough people to be able to put in their answers and then I will do a reveal of who won on a video prior to doing the video for the competition so that's something to look forward to guys and if I get more subscribers between now and then there's more chances of people actually um, participating than the last time when I done the giveaway I only had about four people so the more people I get to take part the better it is otherwise the competition will not be worth doing and I have a few goodies to put into the competition so and the more I get, the more chance, more, the questions, as I say, the questions are not going to be, the question is not going to be easy, so it's going to be like something like Hunky Dory um, have on their channel when they do their weekly question, so I might run it for about a week, depends on how many people actually reply or how many people answer when I've actually put the video out, as I say, it won't be this week. Um, it could be the next week or it could be the week after Easter. That depends on where I get to because I need to take um, 
some time away from videoing because I've been videoing a break for Christmas and then since January I've been videoing again all the way through and we're now to coming to the end of March so I do need another break from actually doing some video and I do need a bit of time to um, sort some bits out in my craft room because it's getting a bit chock-a-block now and I just need to go through some bits to put into this competition I was going to say raffle but it's not it's a competition so you could win a die um, The Moonstone die, it could be a little book, book of, or it could be a craft pad. So I'll see what I have got that I am not using or that I've got that I'm not really um, going to use because I've got some bits that I've got from Hunky Dory that I probably don't think I'll ever use or will need to use. Or I've got duplicates because of getting the goodie boxes. But that is for another video. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. I've been rambling on for the last few minutes about that. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video and these two cards. So <clears throat> once again, thanks for all your support. For all the people and that have subscribed and to all my new subscribers, do appreciate it all. Appreciate you all for doing so and taking the time to support me by subscribing. Um, so yeah, until the next time guys, take care, speak to you all soon. Bye for now.